Definitely. I mean, having Gordon around has been a big boost, you know. That, that's a, I get into arguments about it all the time. I'm like, listen, you can hate the guy. You know, when, anytime someone tells me they don't like Gordon, I'm like, okay. But there's definitely a benefit. Uh, I had a conversation with Mark Zuckerberg about it. He's like, well, what do you think about his attitude? I go, that, why do you think he's so fucking popular? There's two reasons. One, because he's the best. And then two, because he talks so much shit. Yeah. Like, you don't think that's a smart move? <laughs> the best is, uh, I'm like so shadow banned on Instagram. <laughs> he goes to follow me. He follows my backup account. He doesn't. He couldn't find. He probably couldn't find my real account. Zuckerberg. Yeah. So Zuckerberg follows like my breakdown page, <laughs> the, the other one. But he doesn't fucking follow, follow my page. real page because he can't find it. What? I like. I posted one day. I'm like. I like posted like he was following me, and I tagged him, and I'm like, dude, fucking whitelist me, you fuck. Like <laughs> I was so shadow banned that he couldn't find my real account. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny because I think he wants martial arts to be very respectful and, you know, he trains in martial arts and he does MMA and he, he really loves it. He loves yeah, the sport. Does he? Yeah. And he loves you. Like, he thinks you're, like, extremely skilled. He loves watching you compete. He's like, I just don't know. <laughs> I'm like, that's what's fun. It's part of the fun. He's, like, Americanizing but, but, martial arts. But it's good, though, because people see me on social media and they're like, they meet me in person. So their expectations are so low. They're like, there's no way he could be worse than that. <laughs> so if I'm any better than I am on social media, they're like, oh, man, he's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's so true. You, you talk so much shit. But it's like, think about how many more eyeballs are on you f to see these accomplishments. Because if you were just quietly running around submitting all the best black belts in the world, yeah, it, it would be the still same. be impressive, but there's no way it would get the kind of attention that it's getting. And part of the reason why it gets so much attention is because you're smart about social media. And talking a lot of shit on social media is very effective for getting people hyped up. Yeah. I mean, it does two as things. As long as you can actually back it up. Yes. Otherwise, you're just a clown. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you see that a lot. I mean, it does two things when you talk shit, right? First of all, it energizes your fans. They get all ramped up. But the people that hate you, they want to see you lose. So at the end of the day, they're all tuning in. Yeah. The flip side to that, though, is it puts a tremendous amount of pressure, you know. Um, so, like, you know, people are waiting for Gordon to lose to just, you know, cheer. So that's the flip side to which, it. Which is amazing because people in grappling lose all the time. Like, it's not – like, no one goes on, like, a 10 – like, a 10-fight winning streak in grappling, a 10-match winning streak is, like, unheard of. Yeah. Like, maybe have, like, a good tournament and you double gold. But, like, to win, like, more than 15 matches in a row, it, like, rarely happens. I think – I think like Hodger's best winning streak, I think, was like was like twenty matches or something like that. Uh, so like people win some, they lose some. But I know that the day that I lose again, it's just gonna be like the end of the world. <laughs> like I haven't lost since twenty eighteen. I'm gonna like lose by advantage. And be like, see, was never that good at all. How along. many matches have you wanted to run now? I think it's uh, fifty seven <laughs> since uh, two thousand eighteen. You know, so. if people don't know how crazy that is. But again, like we were talking about Musa Mechi, you train. Seven days a week. Yeah. That's that's unheard of too. 